Hi, welcome back to our channel. So for this episode, we're taking a bit of a twist and we're bringing you into MIT and want to share an event that recently took place on campus. The MIT Africa Forum, which brings together Africans within MIT and people who are interested in projects which are happening on the continent. And during this forum, we got the chance to share a bit about our work. So the, this includes the Maker Ed programs that Marion and I have been running in Kenya. Um, but it was also a great chance to share a new pivot and, uh, that we'll be launching, which is called Fundi. Um, and this is an online maker platform for innovators around the, around the continent to share their work, but also to connect with meaningful jobs. So Yeah, so please have a watch and let us know your feedback in yeah. the comments below. And we'll give you more about the project and Fundi in the description box. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Juliet Waniri, and I'm a second year graduate student in the Integrated Design and Management Program. Hello, everyone. My name is Marian Nidui. I am a first year master student at the Media Lab in the Lifelong Kindergarten Research Group. And so we're both engineers from Kenya, and between the both of us, we have about 10 years of experience working in maker ed programs in East Africa, particularly in Kenya. And from these experiences, we, we worked on two different projects. One of them, one of the programs that we run is a Mekati Lili program, which is focused on um, facilitating workshops on human-centered design and teaching basic engineering concepts to youth in high school. The other program we run is called Fundi Workshops, and this focuses on undergraduate students and young professionals, so equipping them with the design, electronics, and IoT skills that they would need as they transition into the workforce. The other thing that came to mind is that, oh, sorry about that. The other thing that came to mind is that hardware startups in the ecosystem were finding it difficult to were finding it difficult to find um, raw hardware talent beyond what you'd find on Wiki, what you find on LinkedIn. And would reach out to us through email or through different channels that we're in, asking for one-to-one -one referrals for people they, they could hire. So because of this, we highlighted three key areas that we'd be interested in working in. One is having an open hardware community that would be outside the confines of our WhatsApp group or our Facebook group, which is where most of the conversations were taking place. Two is an online portfolio where a hardware innovator would be able to showcase the scope of their work, their design process, their problem solving skills that goes beyond what you typically find on your resume or on your LinkedIn profile. And lastly, a platform where you could have a network of suppliers and manufacturers in any region of the continent be able to reach out to people who are looking to prototype and develop different projects. So our proposed solution is Fundi, which is a Pan-Africa maker network that fosters dynamic collaboration across the continent and empowers users to create their own personalized maker portfolios. Using these portfolios, users will be able to gain access to short-term work like freelancing jobs or contractual jobs and also gain formal employment opportunities whereas employers can also look for talent within this network. And finally, um, we, our users can be able to gain access to materials, find locally resourced, um, like, yeah, basically materials and equipment because if you are from Africa, you know how hard sometimes it is to find even a basic screw or aluminum or anything you need to just build your, your project. So what makes our solution different from what's already existing is that not only will you be able to build and share your own makeup portfolios, but also um, network with other people across the continent while gaining opportunities in the employment sector and Put, um, collaborate with peers and other net, uh, other makers, engineers, and tinkerers across the continent, while also being able to use maker resources and share with them and gain access to to them. So, in summary, what we hope to do is help innovators who make things get jobs, and we would like your help, <laughs> yes, you, to <laughs> to um, give us your feedback. Um, the link is live, so you can go on right now to this link, and if you're a software developer, whether you're a maker or an engineer, or you have any insights or feedback um, regarding you know, the maker ecosystem in Africa, we'd like to hear from you, um, and we appreciate 
your insights. Thank you. Then <laughs> <laughs> you're like, <laughs> okay. I can kick off my shoes now. <laughs>